Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a VCS ready to ship haul. I do have the dog in the background chewing on his bone, so I apologize for that. <laughs> it seems like every time I come in here, he just, he gets comfy and then he wants to chew. So I apologize for the noise. How is everybody doing? Um, check in with me, let me know how it's going. If you have been here for any amount of time and you've never commented, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how long you've been watching, just out of curiosity. So this is a VCS ready to ship haul. This is the very first order I've ever received that I was scared because it was melty. <laughs> as much wax as I've ordered through the summertime, I've never had a problem with melty wax. I don't know why this time was different. I feel like my regular mailman is on vacation and we have some sub substitute mail people and I feel like they just, they're different than my regular mailman. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. It is very hot here or it was hot the day that this arrived. So if things look a little messy, that's why, but it's fine. Everything still smells great. Uh, Kirby and team, whoever packs up the orders, Everything is packed very securely. It wasn't any fault on her end. Everything was packed just as it normally is. It just, it was so dang hot. I don't know, have you guys been having hotter weather than normal? I feel like here, it's just been so freaking hot and the humidity here has been high. So it's just, it's been awful. All right, let's jump into the order, sorry. So, I got a sample of Pugsley, which I believe I got the same sample in my last order. Yeah, I think I did get this in my last order. So this is Free Loops, Green Marshmallows, and Birthday Cake. This is not really my type of scent. I'm not really big on like the Fruit Loops. I'm not big on the Fruit Loops train or whatever you wanna call it. It's good, it's just, it's not, it's not my thing, um, but I love that she includes samples. So, you know, I'm not gonna complain about that. Always very nice. I mean, that's, you could cut that in half or cut it into fourths, melt it in a smaller space, whatever. Okay, so yeah, you can see, if you look at the bag here, I mean, this thing, I as soon as I got it and I realized it was falling apart, I was like, oh gosh, I got it in the refrigerator as soon as I could, but you can see where it started to melt. These tiles were like butter, like I could have just went whoop and they would have broke. So the first thing I got is cherry vanilla Jackie O, this vanilla bean cake topped with whipped marshmallows and cherries. And this is super pretty. Also, if someone doesn't get on the website and purchase this loaf, I may. <laughs> I don't know how many she has left, but I really like this. I. I'm not usually big on cherry scents, but it's coming around to me. This is just really pretty. The Jackie O, the cherry vanilla, it's just a, an authentic smelling cherry. It doesn't smell fake to me or anything like that, so I really like this one. And I've never been a big fan of Jackie O, but I think I'm coming around, which is interesting. <laughs> so. This next one I have is called I Love Dessert, and this is vanilla pumpkin cookies with brown butter icing. And again, these were tiles. I don't think these had any problems. I think these were okay. There was like one part of the box that was really hot. So I have a feeling that part of the box is probably sitting in the sun. And I think my regular mailman probably keeps boxes like in the back of his truck, because I've seen him stop and then like get into the back of his truck. Oh, I can smell this from like, I have it like at my waist and I can smell it all the way up here. So this is warm pumpkin cookies with brown butter icing. This is how you would expect it to smell. This is like a, a, it's a pumpkin cookie. And it's got like a nice light brown butter icing. It's a nice cookie scent. It's not overly pumpkin, but you can smell the pumpkin in there. This one will be really nice for fall time or like September time. I like that one. This next one I have, uh, I really like this one, but I can't tell what the heck I'm smelling. Okay, so this is Martha's Lavender Boo Nilla Milkshakes. And this was kind of like my wild card pick. 
This is homemade sweet lavender honey ice cream milkshakes. And this is the fortune teller bar, which is just so cute. Love it. Okay, so <laughs> I'm pretty familiar with lavender. I feel like I've warmed through a ton of different like lavender scents. I smell, okay, this is gonna sound weird. I, I don't smell honey, like overtly honey in here. Maybe just a slight bit, but what I'm smelling is almost, I feel like I smell like a baked good. And I don't know what kind, it almost kind of smells bready, but that doesn't make sense because this is supposed to be a milkshake. So I don't know if it's the honey and lavender mixing together to make it smell like a bakery, but this is not bad. I think this one sat on the website for a little bit and I don't think people were into this one. I think honey generally kind of scares people because honey sometimes can be very strong or it can be very floral. But this one, I really like. I mean, I don't know, you know, I'm gonna have to warm it and see what I'm getting more on the warm side, but I don't know why I'm getting bakery. If anyone else got that, let me know what you thought of it or think of it. This one I was intrigued by because I heard Jenny, Jenny G talk about this. I watch a lot of her lives and she has a pretty good understanding of the VCS scents and whatnot. So usually when she says something is good, I'm like, sure. <laughs> so this is Christmas tree cakes, butter mint ice cream. So this is butter mint, vanilla ice cream, yellow cake, vanilla buttercream, and a touch of green sprinkles. So again, the fortune teller bar is so pretty. Again, this order would have been looked so much better with the bags and stuff, but again, it got melty. So it just, it's not as pretty. Okay, this one smells really good. I like this one. I like um, from another vendor, I like her butter, butter mint vanilla ice cream. So I already knew I'd kind of like this scent, but this one has the added bonus of the yellow cake. This does smell like, I haven't had a Christmas tree cake and I think when they say Christmas tree cake, they're talking about those, are they little Debbie's that have like the white frosting and then like you get like the yellow cake inside. I think that's how they are. I haven't had one of those in ages, but if I remember what they smell like correctly, I smell that in here, right underneath that buttermint scent. So it's a soft, smooth buttermint, not like overly minty or anything. Love that one. So that one was a good, pick so hot patootie so i'd asked jenny about hot patootie and she had never had it and i was like what <laughs> so i went in the group and i started searching and a lot of people like this one so i was like okay i'm gonna try to pick it up so this is cinnamon vanilla glazed old-fashioned pumpkin donuts and we have the scream face which he looks kind of sad <laughs> he got again melty how many times can i say melty take a drink every time i say melty <laughs> Oh, and I see why people like this one. This one is just good. This one is just a good bakery, good fall bakery. It's just got that uh, sweet pumpkin smell. Um, I really like the donut scent and I don't exactly know like what that is. Like if you were to give me a donut scent, I'd probably be like, okay, that's it. But in here, it just smells like bakery, pumpkin bakery. Not too heavy on the cinnamon. Of course, I think cinnamon vanilla tends to be like a nice lighter cinnamon. So Craven is the next one that I saw. And this one sounded really interesting to me, especially for fall. So this is warm spices, sugared apples, and vanilla ice cream. And it just sounded like a good fall scent. So I'm ahead and grab some of Craven. Yeah, this one is nice. This one reminds me of just like a, kind of like a, oh, I was gonna say like a hot apple cider, but not really. I was gonna say like, it kind of gives me that same, not like a hot apple cider completely, but maybe like the spicy part of a cider. And it would kind of make sense with the apples and the warm spices, but the vanilla ice cream comes in and kind kind of gives it more of like a bakery element, a more smooth touch this one's just pretty it's not super strong on the apples i like this one this one's good 
Okay, this one I had missed in the last restock. So I saw that she had poured it again and I was like, I'm gonna try to grab that one. This one is the one that like jumped my cart the last order. So I was like, oh, if she pours it again, I'm gonna try to get it. This is Aunt Sophia's cinnamon sugar cookies. This is gooey batter, fresh baked dough, cinnamon sugar, and cream cheese frosting. I think she uses this base a lot because I've seen this scent description. I think minus the cream cheese frosting is what makes this the Aunt Sophia's. I'm not sure. I feel like that is, but maybe I'm wrong. I can't remember. I just know those first notes are in a lot of her bakery scents from what I remember. Ooh, this is good. Oh, I like this. Okay, this is a nice, like, this is a nice bakery. Again, not too heavy on the cinnamon, because um, it is called Aunt Sophia Cinnamon Sugar Cookies. The cream cheese frost, or yeah, the cream cheese frosting doesn't make it weird in here. It just gives it a nice sweet scent. So yeah, this one's good. Um, I would recommend any of these, all, all of these. I, All of them I like so far. So I've been very happy with my VCS. Uh, purchases recently. I mean, everything's been, oh, this is the same one. I grabbed two of these just cause I figured since I was in there, I would go ahead and grab a second one. So I didn't have any problems with this order either. Sometimes VCS is kind of notorious for things jumping ship and I didn't have any problems. So the next thing I got is I did grab a loaf in summer berry cookies. And if you remember, I think I got a fortune teller bar in this one last order. This is juicy summer berries and rich sugar cookies. Now I think she said the base of this is Berrylicious from Yankee Candle, I think. I think it was Yankee Candle, I can't remember. And I think it was Berrylicious. I remember last time I had to put an annotation, but summer berry cookies, I really liked the fortune teller bar and it reminds me of another scent. I love cookie scent. I, if you can tell I'm on like a bakery, I wanted to say a bakery high. <laughs> this one is good. I love, love, love when people mix berries with cookies. I just think it gives, like you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get kind of like a fruity and then you get like the cookie note as well. It kind of reminds me of like, you know those cookies, are they called thumbprint cookies? Like they're the cookies with like a little bit of jam in the middle. That's what this reminds me of. Ah, oh, so good. So yeah, I like the cookie in here and I like the berry scent, so yeah. All right, so that is the loaf. All right, now these guys, <laughs> I'm so sad. These guys almost disappeared. So you can tell these guys went through the ringer. I mean, you can see where this, these almost fell apart. Like, ugh. anyways, they're fine. They still smell really good, so I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna probably warm these. Sooner versus later though, just in case. Hotel California, this is a blend of vanilla lace and so white. So, so white is a lush type. I think so white is apples or some sort of apple. Neroli and what's the other? Apple, neroli and something else. I love the bath bomb, so white. Like that's one of my favorite bath bombs. It smells so good in the bathtub. But I figured with vanilla lace, also, oh, real quick, I don't love so white in wax, so I'm just kind of taking a chance on this one. But I do like things mixed with van vanilla lace, and then Jenny had said that she, like, this is one of her favorites. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and just try it. So my ghost almost actually did disappear. <laughs> if he had stayed out in the sun any longer, he actually would have disappeared. Oh. Gosh, you do get that. So when you smell a bath bomb and you get that like, I don't know, bath bomb smell, you can smell that in there. If you take like a big whiff of this. Oh my gosh, the vanilla lace is so pretty in here too. Oh, I hope it warms as well as I'm smelling it right now. Oh, this is a good one. Yeah, that vanilla lace with that so white, you put those two together and yeah, that's good. So I did grab two of those. And again, ugh, poor little guy, he's okay. <laughs> He'll be all right. But this, like I was here too as well to get my box. So as soon as she dropped off the box, I picked it up. Like it didn't even sit outside for more than like 30 seconds. So it must've been like super hot. So anyways, that is my VCS order. Did you pick anything up? 
let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. Um, I would say like, so when I took the wild card on this one right here, I would say this one is pretty good. I really, I can't tell you though, like I warmed a ton of lavenders, but I really cannot tell you. Maybe it's like a bakery lavender. I don't know. I'm just not smelling like a lavender that I've had before and I'm not really sure why. I don't know, it smells bakery to me. It's so weird. <laughs> I don't know. So anyways, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing, I was gonna say an American weekend. <laughs> I hope you're having an American weekend. I was thinking of 4th of July. <laughs> So anyways, all right, I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.